Welcome to Dubai This Week. Our guest today is Paris Hilton, who just released her Dubai Honeymoon episode. Paris was recently here in Dubai, where she launched her 29th fragrance. And we got a chance to sit down with the international media personality to hear why she chose Dubai as one of her honeymoon destinations. Enjoy. Hilton, global innovator, powerhouse, businesswoman, entrepreneur, DJ, MC. Did I miss anything? The list goes on and on. And now you are launching your latest perfume, your fragrance here in Dubai. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Paris. Thank you. Thanks for this uh, exclusive with Khalij Times. Why Dubai? Well, my husband has never been here before. So when we were planning out our honeymoon tour, I guess we'd call it, because it's a seven week long trip around the world. Wow. I said, we have to come to Dubai before Maldives, because I just love it here so much. I think it's so unique, so special, so exciting, beautiful. I love the Waldorf Astoria, so it was the perfect place to come. I must agree with you on that. And tell us just a bit about the fragrance. Uh, what inspired it? You're obviously in love. Yes. So what can I know about this? And I'd love to smell. OK, of course. This is my 29th fragrance called Lux Rush. And I just love the whole Rush collection. It's so gorgeous, but I wanted to make something special for the Middle East. So it's just very beautiful. You know it. that the Middle East loves fragrances. Yes. Thank you. It's just very, just beautiful. It's very so romantic. Romantic. Someone is in love. Look, your career has been so diverse, right? You started out as a model, and then you went to television, and then uh, obviously business, and you have your brands. And most recently, NFTs. You're explaining to Jimmy Fallon what <laughs> NFTs are. Um, how did you get into this? Well, I've been involved in the crypto space since the early days, since 2016. I had dinner with the founders of Ethereum in Berlin, and then we just became friends. And that's where I got really interested in crypto. And then back in 2020, before everyone was talking about NFTs, I got approached to do one for charity, and I drew my crypto kitty. And that was, you know, 2020, the end of the, back in March, and then all of a sudden, it just blew up, and I just released another NFT and a series, and it was the highest selling female comp in history, so wow. I'm very proud just to really uplift others, and now I'm investing a lot into the space and coming up with my next drop that's coming out in February. So it's just very exciting, and I really see it as the future of art. So the future of art and, and your next collection we will be looking out for, but what kind of tips can you give to someone? Like, is this the time to just go for it and invest in NFTs? A lot of people still don't understand what that is. It's because we're very early, and I think it's really about just buying pieces that come from art. Everyone's trying to do it, but you need to go with certain artists who really have a story behind them. Sometimes it's a cause behind them. It's just. Right now, the stakes are very high because everybody's doing it, so you really just need to put a lot of effort into it and make it something that's one of a kind and really original. But it's something to look into. Definitely look into it. What can it. you tell us about your upcoming collection? Well, it's a surprise. Ooh. I can't say anything about it yet except that it's iconic and it's a collab with a very interesting group, which I can't say yet because it's a big surprise. All right, we're going to wait for that surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paris Hilton, congratulations on your wedding. I know you're super busy. Um, you're continuing a seven week. Uh, wow. I mean, who, who gets to go on such a long honeymoon and work? So this is part of the honeymoon. When will you uh, be back here in Dubai to uh, grace us with your presence? We will be back early in 2022. We cannot wait. And I'm so happy that my husband loves it here. I knew he would. So definitely coming a lot next year. Thinking of maybe having a permanent presence here in the region? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Very mysterious. Paris Hilton, yes. thank you so much for your time. Thank you. That was our exclusive interview with Paris Hilton. Let us know what other guests you'd like to see on the show. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see all of our stories.